Bruce here from anabolicmen.com where we bring you 100% research-backed men's health advice. Now today we're actually going to talk about iodine. Iodine is really important for your diet and it's really important for your hormonal health in general and it's often very neglected, especially in the Western world. Now a lot of Asian cultures actually consume a lot of iodine and I'll, I'll talk a bit about why here in a minute. But in the Western world, we are extremely deficient in iodine and therefore uh, it is impacting our health you know, extremely. So uh, one of the ways that iodine is used in the body is basically it converts uh, thyroid hormone T4 into the more powerful, more potent T3. And it's required basically for a uh, healthy thyroid. And thyroid, as, as those of you know, is you know, extremely important for just overall metabolic processes in your body and your hormonal health. And when you're hypothyroid, you know, if you're deficient in iodine, you're going to be hypothyroid. And when you're hypothyroid, it actually leads to low testosterone as well. So uh, you, as you can see, while many people might not you know, focus on thyroid, thyroid is actually extremely important to optimize and make sure at least you have a healthy level of, of things like iodine so your thyroid uh, can, can be healthy. Now let's look at a couple studies of what else could happen if you're low in iodine. Now hypothyroidism causes insensitivity towards GnRH in the pituitary gland which in turn lowers LH release and slows down testosterone production. Men diagnosed with hypothyroidism are much more likely to have low free testosterone levels than men with sufficient thyroid hormone production. And treatment with exogenous thyroid hormones was actually shown to in some cases more than double testosterone levels and by showing that you can see that how important the impact is and in the interplay between a healthy thyroid and healthy testosterone production. Now without further ado, let's get into five foods that are awesome for getting your regular consumption of iodine. All right, first up is seaweed. Now seaweed, like I just said, it actually is not that common in the Western world, but it's very common in Asian cultures, and that's why Asian populations in general have much higher iodine uh, levels than, than Western populations. You see, Asians tend to consume a lot of the seaweed, and seaweed's easily the densest food in naturally occurring iodine. It's ridiculously high in the mineral, so much so that 100 grams of this stuff can contain up to 54 milligrams, which is 36,000% of the recommended daily amount, meaning that just a gram of dried seaweed is enough to cover the daily need for iodine. That also means that you don't want to consume too much seaweed or you could get into toxicity territory. Now, second on the list is oysters. And if you've been reading anabolicmen.com or watching any of these videos, you know that oysters are extremely high in very important micronutrients. The case isn't any different when it comes to iodine, as oysters are a rich, natural source of the trace mineral. And at 100 grams, oysters contain 160 micrograms of iodine, which is about 100% of the recommended daily amount. Now third on the list is wild cod. And wild cod is actually a good fish. We, we just covered in a recent video about high levels of choline in wild cod. But you definitely want to focus on wild cod. You want wild cod because the farmed fish, and in, this is just true in general, Farm fish uh, are fed poor diets, and they have you know, very poor fatty acid profiles. They also contain a lot of heavy metals because of the water that they, they're uh, you know, bred in, they swim in. So you want to get wild cod. It's one of the fish that's highest in iodine, and about 100 grams, it contains 100 micrograms of iodine, which is about 66% of the recommended daily amount. Now, to this point, it might seem like everything that you are looking for for iodine is in the ocean. But there's actually something that's grown on land that tastes delicious that you can also eat. And that's number four on our list, which is potatoes. Potatoes also happen to be one of the best types of carbohydrates to consume when the goal is to increase testosterone levels naturally. You know, they're filling, they're low in calories, gluten-free, which means they don't raise prolactin. And they're filled with great carbs that are the perfect thing to consume uh, post-workout, for example. And when it comes to iodine, potatoes, make sure you get the skin intact. Make sure you eat the skin. They're a good source of it. One medium-sized baked potato contains about 60 micrograms of iodine, which is about 40% of the recommended daily amount. Now, last but not least, number five on our list is cranberries, which also grows on land. Uh, and cranberries are not only you know, rich in iodine, but they also contain a lot of other things that are great for your urinary tract and high in antioxidants in general. At about 100 grams of cranberries, you'll get about 300 micrograms or 200% of the recommended daily amount of the trace mineral iodine. So to wrap it up, iodine is extremely important for healthy testosterone production and healthy uh, thyroid hormone function. You want to make sure that you're not deficient in it. 
So in conclusion, iodine is actually an awesome micronutrient to optimize and make sure that you're not deficient in it uh, to impact your testosterone levels and impact healthy thyroid functioning. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.